good morning, afternoon, evening, and night. My new order package has arrived, and it's from Traveling on Paper that based in Taiwan. Top is my trusted online shop to order overseas stuffs, and they provide worldwide shipping too. By the way. I noticed something new with the packaging, so this reminds me of breads that sold in Careful. They use this kind of paper with transparent plastic in the middle, and I can quickly see on what's inside. Ah, thumbs up for the packaging. By the way, now you are listening to Reflect by Eric Gottlob, and I hope you like it. Talking about the BGM, I was thinking to create a playlist. And what do you think about it? If yes, then I will share it to you guys. Please comment down below. Back to the items. So I bought three, and one from Thirty Six Sublo, two from Journal Pages. And it looks like not only three items, right? Yes, because the rest items are from Traveling on Paper. Start on with the first item. CO stamp by 36 Sablo with their store located in Tokyo, Japan. And for the first trial, I'll be using this mini notepad from Journal Pages. Journal Pages is based in Malaysia and they also sell a lot of overseas stuffs, also provide worldwide shipping. Oh, by the way, this product called Vintage Postal Letter Press Mini Notepad. I think the design looks very nice and for my later journal I will cut it into three pieces and stick on in anywhere that I want. And the last item is stamp by journal pages and this stamp called follow your soul. I was awed by the packaging and I never knew that stamps packaging can be this cute and fluffy too. For today's journal, I'll be using this A6 spiral ring notebook with blank MD paper white. To start on, I'll be using the Follow Your Soul stamp with the Sachihata ink pad in black and stamp it on this handmade paper that I bought in the forest or Xiaolu Wen Jusuo. Next is the print on sticker by La Dolce Vita, so I'm looking for something that can be fit well in the frame. And now tear it off the mini memo pad and cut it into three pieces. Tada! By the way, don't forget to write down the date. This is also a tip that provided by Journal Bean. And I agree with it too. Sometimes when I open my notebook and it feels just like a throwback time. Oh, by the way, this is the stuff that I got from top. Their business card, the masking tape, two stickers, and also this beautiful card. Thank you!
And now I will continue to journaling with these two pages. Follow with me and enjoy the video. Coffee shop with me featuring Bird Eye Espresso.
Yesterday, I have built in pages with these two notebooks, and because it's already night, so I need to take the photos on the next day, which is on the daytime. If you ask me why, it's just because I need the sun for my lighting. And that lighting totally different with the light from my room. I hope you understand what I mean. Okay, now let me explain on what I'm doing now. So I'm sorting out the pens that I use and then list out the sticker tips that I use following by all the stamps. For the stamps, I never buy any boxes, so basically I will just reuse uh, boxes that I got maybe from snacks box, like the pink one was from Innisfree products, and I thought, well, it looks nice, and why not to just keep use it instead of throw it. Finish organizing all the stops and now it's time to take the photo. And for the notebook, I'm using this research note by Plain. It's made in Taiwan. The one that in my hand is in regular size with dot grid and also they come out with the passport size too at last it's time for me to put them back all into their place and to have my clean table again <laughs> 